Almost nobody knows these seven ingenious cloth pack tricks, but everyone should know them because you can do a lot more with cloth packs than you might think. In this video, I'll show you a few really ingenious ways. If you have an empty toothpaste or cream packet, you can use a cloth pack to make sure you get every last bit out. Place the tube somewhere, grab a cloth pack and start at the back end by pressing the cloth pack firmly onto the tube and wiping everything forwards. This will really push the entire contents forwards, so it's no longer the case that all the residue is spread all over the tube, but everything is now nicely squeezed to the front as you can see here. This way you can get every last bit out of the toothpaste packaging. And if you've never thought of using cloth packs in the shower, I'll show you why you should definitely do so. However, it's not just about the shower, you can also clip them in another place in your bathroom. And there's a very specific reason for this. Before we get to why you should do this, I show you which places are ideal for this. Either the shower itself, somewhere on the shower in general, such as on the shower basket or on the shower door. Or if you have one, on the shower curtain. You can simply hang the clothes pack here or directly on your shower head. This works practically well if you have a rain shower head. You can usually attach the clothes pack to this and simply leave them hanging if you hold the shower head in your hand. They could get in the way. Here on the shower head, this has practically advantages when you are showering. You'll find out why in a moment, but other places in the bathroom also work, of course, such as somewhere on the toilet roll or anywhere else you can think of. It's important that it's a wooden clothes pack, because we want to prepare it a little beforehand. You should use an essential oil that you like to smell, grab it and put a few drops on the clothes pack. Because it is made of wood, the essential oil can really soak in. Wait a while and turn it back and forth a little. Now you've already prepared it. And that's the great thing about it. The essential oils really come into their own in the shower when the heat rises and your whole home will smell really pleasant and fresh thanks to this little trick. This brings us directly to the third trick with cloth packs. You should use a cloth pack if you want to hammer a nail into the wall. Because you probably know the problem too. You choose the place where you want to hammer the nail in, grab a hammer, hold the nail firmly and hammer away. However, you may end up hitting your fingers in the process, especially if you're not experienced in using a hammer. It's easy to miss the mark and injure yourself. And this is exactly when a conventional cloth pack can actually help you. All you have to do is clamp the nail in the cloth pack. You can then use the cloth pack to place it at the point where you want to hammer it into the wall. And now you can take the hammer and hit it, as your fingers are now only holding the whole thing at the outer end of the cloth pack and are no longer near the nail, you no longer have to worry about hitting your fingers. So hold the whole thing against the wall where you want to hammer the nail in and hammer away. After the first few taps, the nail will be far enough into the wall so that you can remove the cloth pack completely and then hammer the nail into the rest of the wall. So if you are someone who has two left hands and often hits your fingers, then you should use this trick to prevent this from happening to you in future. And you can even use the cloth pack to pull out the nail off the wall. Clamp it in as you can see here, twist the whole thing back and forth a little and after a short time you can easily get the nail out. The cloth pack can help you if you want to hammer a nail into the wall, but also if you simply want to remove it. This brings us to our fourth trick. And for this one, we want to use cloth packs on our knife. But here too, it is important that we prepare the cloth pack beforehand because we don't just want to clip it to the knife. What you also need for this is a hot glue gun and some sandpaper. Grab some sandpaper, hold the cloth pack here and cut it to the exact width of the cloth pack. In the end, we need two pieces. They don't have to be as long as the cloth pack. Half as long is quite enough. Once you have cut it to size, carefully open the cloth pack, take a hot glue gun, apply a little of the hot glue to the inside and place the first piece of sandpaper here. Apply a little glue to the outer end and stick the whole thing over here. Repeat this process on the other side. Then wait a little until the whole thing has hardened. And then we come to the brilliant advantage. This is how the cloth pack with the sandpaper should look in the end. There is still sandpaper in between. We can open and close the cloth pack. And now let's grab our knife to do just that. Because what you can do now is hold the cloth pack carefully in your hand and pull it through this slit with the knife. This will completely sharpen your knife again with the help of a cloth pack and some sandpaper. You can now put the cloth pack in your cupboard and take it out again every time one of your knives has become blunt and you want to sharpen it a little. 
and you can even use the cloth pack on your bin using bin liners to be precise. But this trick works differently than you might think. The following problem will certainly be familiar to you. You have pulled the bin liner over your bin. Now you start throwing things into your bin. However, especially if they are a little larger or heavier, the bin liner sometimes slides down with them. And it doesn't take long before the bin liner is no longer over the edge. And you have to adjust it every time. This is exactly why you should use a clothes pack. Because if you pull the bin liner over the bin and then use two clothes packs to secure the bin liner on two opposite sides, it should no longer slide back and forth. This means that if you now throw heavier items into the bin, the bag will no longer slide in but will stay in place. And I have a brilliant little bonus trick for you for this. You'll need another essential oil of your choice for this one. Because if you use a wooden cloth pack here too, you can apply a little of the essential oil to it. A few drops should be enough here too. You should then move the cloth pack back and forth a little so that the oil can spread well on it and really soak into the wood. You can then hang it back on the bin and now you have two advantages. Firstly, the bin liner should no longer slip into the bin when you throw heavy things into it and you'll also create a really pleasant smell as it can often stink in the bin. This really is an ingenious trick to banish bad odors from your home because every time you open the bin now it will smell pleasantly of the oil. But wait until you hear about the next trick because it's not just that you can sprinkle the clothes pack with a little essential oil to make it smell nice. There are also many other options that I would like to show you here. The first is conventional deodorant. Simply spray a small amount of deodorant onto the cloth pack and leave it to soak in. You could also use baby oil for this, as baby oil is also great for soaking into the cloth pack and it also smells very pleasant. Here too you only need a few drops, turn the whole thing back and forth a little and then the odor is already absorbed and it should smell really pleasantly of baby oil in the future. You could also use laundry beads. Here however you have to prepare the whole thing a little more, especially because you can't just rub the clothes pack in here. You have to liquefy the whole thing a little first. To do this put a small amount of these laundry beads in a freezer bag. Now shake it well and add a good amount of hot water so that they are completely submerged. Now wait for a while. This is because they will dissolve in the water giving it a very intense odor. You can now add a few clothes packs and leave them to soak for about 5 minutes. They will absorb the fragrance and smell pleasantly fresh in the future. You could now hang them up somewhere in your home for example. For example on a flower pot, on your radiator, where it will smell practically nice when you switch it on. Or you can also use them to hang up your washing as normal. It will also smell nice. And if you're cooking something and using a spoon then you're probably familiar with the problem of the spoon slipping into the pan from time to time. To prevent this from happening in future you can clip a cloth pack to the top of the spoon and now you can hang the whole thing on your pot like this. The spoon will never slip into the pot again. Would you not also like to learn more ingenious tricks that almost nobody knows but everyone should know? Then be sure to watch the video you see on the screen at this point. Click directly on it.